Hey, it's Roger. I'm on location at Cypress Point from DR Horton. We're going to tour this Bristol model home here in just a second. But hey, take a look at the amenity center. Wow, and they've got kind of a uh, covering, kind of like a pergola for campouts and stuff, and a beautiful little park right there. And by the way, if you're in the market, 704-345-3400, that gets you to me and my partner, Jack the Real Estate Dog. Where is my dog, by the way? Before we go in and tour this Bristol, I want to tell you a story, but take a look up there to the upper right and notice that kind of a shed, I'd call that a shed, kind of a dormer on that second level to get this 1.5 story plan. I think this has got some really nice lines to it. It's got some hip elements uh, and you know the obvious, the gables, this is real pretty. And this is one of their great sellers and that's why that they put it as a model here, right? So now see, for my money, that is, and you can just see the furniture sitting there. That's a big, wide, generous, South Carolina porch. So Lake Wiley, one of the three great lakes in the Charlotte area. Uh, you thought you were the only ones with great lakes, Michigan and Ohio. We got great lakes. We got Lake Norman, Mountain Island Lake, and also um, Lake Wiley, which is where we are. Well, we're going to go in like I normally start to the left, but here's what's a, a little different about this one. I had a call or a communication from Iowa and the gentleman had a really practical request. He said, my wife is concerned. We like the plan, but how much storage is in the Bristol? So you know how I've been offering to shoot? I don't have my measuring stick with me, but again, you've got a nice closet with a door that swings. So that's good. That's your front bedroom. And she just wants to feel good about the storage that's available in this house. Now, again, you got a full bath, you got a window, that's neat. Put that granite down there, that's beautiful. And then we have two closets, one to the left and one to the right. So as a service to them, and you get to come along, this is what I would call a linen closet. All right? And then on the other side, I'll bet this is a coat closet. Yeah, there you go. That's your front coat closet. All right, so it's good. All right, guys, the Bristol plan. Why do they make this a model? Because they know, and again, in, in deference to her, I'm gonna open up every door here. What have you got in here? Now, this is interesting. This is another little closet, and that's much deeper than the ones that we've seen, and this is an extra space. This is, now that's the uh, structured wiring panel where your modem and all that comes in, but this is some pretty good space. They've got a big box there and there's room for quite a bit more. And of course, couldn't you put some more shelves up there for totes or for your uh, Costco uh, toilet paper runs and so on? Okay, good, good. This is fun for me. And he asked me, could I shoot the garage? And you know what, I went in that garage because it's a model home. So here we got a little drop zone. Now, if you wanted to build it without that, or you want to take that out and you wanted to make a, another little closet there, I think that's doable. Some extra space. They've got shelves there. Again, you could put cabinets up there if you wanted to have some extra space. And if you didn't have the laundry sink there, you've got room for another cabinet, but that's a good wide space. But uh, I, I went into the, <laughs> to the garage and wow, it's messy. So I can't shoot it. I don't want Donnie Ray Horton calling me, Mr. D.R. Horton and saying, hey, Get out of my model home closet, son. Here we go. Now, this is beautiful, guys. And you know, they decorate them. They put the furniture in so you can really see. So when you buy the Bristol, you can buy it. What am I going to do right here? You can buy it. Uh-oh. Talk about, uh, well, those are all plans and whatnot. But see, that's a pretty deep little closet, too. And so that's a good closet. Lots of wire shelves on there. But, uh, man, I I'm loving this Bristol. But this is a good seller also down at Millbridge as well as, it's obviously going to sell here because people like to buy what they see. So this is the Bristol guys. Give me a call at 704-345-3400 if you're in the market for a house, if you're relocating to the greater Charlotte area. My team of broker partners are going to get you to the finish line, that's for sure. Here's my little signature shot looking out from the sink to that spacious great room decorated to the max and then off to the right we've got the dining space it's big too i mean look how big that table is so we'll come back to these this is really pulling me in here i like this so for instance here they have a line what they call freedom homes a uh, dr horton owns a brand called freedom homes which is basically ranch ranch and a half type homes and so there's a section over there you've heard me talk a lot if you're a subscriber 
And by the way, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hover down there by the phone number or wait till the end where you can slap my face and subscribe that way. Um, I'll tell you what, my friends from Iowa have given me a whole new perspective. I'm looking at all these doors. I don't always open all the doors, but I'm over here look, getting ready to dive into this pantry right now. This is kind of a standard. Wow, now that's good size. Look at all that extra space, right? Nice. Off to there, to there, to there. Room for some big stuff on the bottom. I like that. And you know, a custom cabinet guy uh, or girl could really make that special that way. But this is nice. <clears throat> so while we're here, why don't we just head out and just take a peek at what they've done on the outside. This is a big room, really. I still love decorated models, don't you? And so the request was to uh, allure or take the, you know, the pain out of her wonderings about what is exactly, uh, you know, closet storage, storage and closets and all that. So that's why this video is a little different. I'm doing it for them, but I'm also doing it for you. And also, like I said, uh, she's helped me to have an appreciation that that's an important concern. When you come into a model home, you can do that. But if you're in Iowa or Pennsylvania, you need me here with boots on the ground. And by the way, just so you know, the ripe old age of 70, I'm shooting more videos, posting about every day. And uh, I've got a team of folks that are showing houses and getting you to the closing table. So I've got a great team of folks. If you like me, you'll love them. That's really the case right there. Oh yeah, good size bedroom. And one thing that DR Horton does, you know, they do a, a lot of trim, but that trim is not that hard because it's a piece of molding and then molding and then a painted line there, but it gives the illusion of a big piece of crown, which is great, it's smart. Now this is plenty of plenty room and that's a big size bed too, with end tables on the side and room to spare. But back to the garage, to uh, my friend from Iowa, guess what? I went in there on take one. I usually don't do more than one take. Take one, I went in there and I had to kind of stumble around my words <laughs> because I'm thinking, uh oh, they're not wanting me in here. Want to keep good relationships with everybody, it's messy. But that garage, uh, Mike, is basically a standard, you know, 16 foot garage door, which is a two uh, car garage. And it's got maybe a foot on each side, give or take. So this is a good size closet. And obviously with customized shelving, uh, easy for a trim carpenter to do. The production builders don't do it typically, but um, get somebody to make it just the way you want it. Nice. Now I got to keep true to my word. There's what we call a water closet. Plenty of room for whatever in there. And then here's a linen closet, right? Your typical bathroom linen closet. Now, if you're bored with all the closets here, just click through to the next video. I'll see you on the other side, but I'm kind of digging this and we're going to go upstairs here in a minute as well, but couldn't get into that garage, but it's a standard garage, which are typically 19 or 20, 21, 19, 20, 21 by the same dimension as a square that way. So that's the garage right there. Let's go up. Where's my dog when I need him? I miss my dog, Jack, the real estate dog. All right, now see, this is amazing. This will get you. Big double window on this landing, which is elegant. Elegant, I mean, just nice. And like I said, they're selling it here at Cypress Point. See, I'm looking for doors now. I'm looking for doors. Ooh, this is cool. Wow, exactly. That's probably 30 inches wide, maybe. And it's carpeted and it's finished drywall. Man, you, got, you don't see this kind of thing very often. So that's a door, and then there's another door. And here you have unfinished space. Of course, you have your HVAC unit there. And they always tell you these platforms are not designed for a lot of heavy storage. And they've got, uh, that's temporary, that, that two by four thing. But they've got, you've got room for some stuff here. But uh, they tell you that the trusses are not rated for you to put much weight on, on them like that. So be aware of that. This is a nice space right here. All right, so this is a good size room. Big, big TV. Plenty of room that way. A little desk area. And then you come in to your bathroom. Mm-hmm. I see I'm hitting these doors now. Somebody got me trained. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
So here's what I'll say to my friends from Iowa. I've discovered some storage spaces that I don't normally see. That here's a second use of space. And again, I'm gonna guess if I had to, that's four and a half feet wide. And if I had to guess, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't, should have had Rodney bring his tape measure. You know, that feels like about six feet. I don't know, but it's good size. And I'm sure we can get you the drawing and have you see it uh, on the floor plan. And by the way, just as a word of note, if you never uh, bought new construction, when you see those floor plans, at every contract signing, they always explain to you the, you know, if it says four foot 11, it might be four foot 10, it might be five foot one, but uh, they're approximate because they're framing these, basically they're typically building these walls right on site, you know, they got the nail gun, build a wall section and then raise it up. This is good, but I'm going for that door over there. This is a good size room, good size room. Oh my, there you go. Now that's, again, generous. That seems to be about 20 inches. And I'm guessing on dimensions, guys, so don't hold me to it. But that is a good size closet. But guess what? You got me going for the Smurf doors now. You got me curious. So that's where the blown-in insulation is. And so you're not going to use that at all. So guys, give me a call at 704-345-3400. Spending a lot of time shooting videos and answering the phone and working with some great agents and uh, if you'd like to meet Jack, the real estate dog, he'd like to meet you. And that's one thing that we've been doing also is uh, meeting there for a coffee or a glass of wine in the afternoon with Jack and folks that are coming in. A lot of people really want to meet Jack. And so that's pretty fun. And maybe we, while supplies last, put some of that Jack merchandise into your hand that costs.